Hey guys, this is Pippin Master. Now I'm gonna, now I'm gonna do this quickly. I'm gonna do a task episode of the favorite things I want to see on the Wii U. Now I'm not talking about games. I'm talking about the Wii U itself. Okay. Now I am not sure what the order is because uh, there are all, all these things I kind of would want to see. However, I don't know, whatever. So number five for this is a strong launch content. You know the games themselves. I want like to have good games at launch. Cause that's how like why I don't have a 3DS now. I still don't have a 3DS because I'm not really I don't really like the games it has. I mean, sure it has Ocarina of Time, but I already beat Ocarina of Time. I'm not gonna want to play that again. You did? Yes, I did. Or was it you? I forget. It was me. Sure it was you? You didn't. You didn't um, uh, even go to the part where Link um did the seven years thing. Really? No. You didn't. No, I thought I did. I had the file. And I still had um. Uh, Every time I played Ocarina of Time, I always had the file where you were stuck in that fish's belly. And I'm like, hey, bro, don't you want to finish it? And you're like, no. I finished the game. What you talking about? Okay, you fine. loser! <laughs> Dang, bro. Sheesh. Losing! I'm right, going to sleep or something. Fine, I'm going back to sleep. <laughs> you find it. But I stopped at the end of the game, so I don't want to see it again. Although my consider... The game is fun! Fine, I'm gonna consider once I get like my ace cover 3DS, whatever. Ooh. You do the same thing, bro. Anyway. Oh yeah. Number four, a sort a classic controller of sorts. However, you know all the the cra crazy Wii U stuff, you know, like the like the weird touch screen and all those um. That's boss. Yeah, I want that to be like a, like a separate part of the controller, like you know, like how the the Wii has like the Wii Ramon and Nunchuck. Yeah, I want, I want like the Wii U controller. Or at least, like, an, um, a modification of the Wii U controller to have, like, a classic controller kind of um, game controller. And then, like, having an like, add-on or something to be able to touch screen all the other random features that we don't necessarily have to have. Yeah, yeah the game is boss! Yeah, the game is boss. Okay, number three. Since, we, since um, it's, been, it's been known that the Wii U does not support GameCube, and the shame that doesn't, there's a lot of good GameCube Aww. games. Yeah, a shame. So I wanted to have like a way to figure out how the heck to like you know transfer GameCube data from our GameCube stuff to the Wii U. Cause you know if they're gonna have like a virtual console or whatever on GameCube for Wii U, I wanna have a way to like to have the save data from what I have on my uh, GameCube memory card, like to the Wii U. Like maybe I'll have like a system update for the Wii or something that they could transfer save data from GameCube to the to like a. Um, some sort of file for um file for Wii and then transfer that part from Wii to Wii U. Why? So I see you play so play GameCube save files that I actually have. I mean like like Melee. Like Melee, like Pikmin, like Pikmin 2, like Marker Double Dash, and I know you like that game. Uh, um well not like Yeah you do. <laughs> anyway. Okay. What? Yeah. Okay. Um, number two. Wait, are you doing a Tops episode? Yes, I'm doing a Tops episode. Oh. <laughs> See, that's me face palming. Anyway, number two. Better use of DLC. Because, um, Brawl has, well, like, what? People don't know what DLC is. It stands for... You don't even know, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> you don't even know. Download something? Yeah, I got DL coming. Let's see. Come on, you know this. Downloadable what? Crud. Download crud. Mm, whatever. Downloadable content. How hard was that? Anyway, downloadable content. Oh, download. I knew that. Downloadable content. No, you didn't. Anyway, so the main reason I said that is because Brawl had none. All, all the... Because, um... Brawl could have downloadable content. And I think it's probably would have originally had downloadable content. But probably downloadable wasn't. content! Yeah. So, I want to have games that have better downloadable content. Because, um, yeah, it would be much better off if you have, like, the next uh, Super Smash Bros. 4 to have good downloadable content, you know, characters that we really wanted a game. It's not going to be made by the same guy. Sure, whatever. Or, oh, oh, even better. That's what the other guy said. He uh, said, like, I'm, this is going to be my only time, I'm, my last time I'm going to do the Smash Bros. And then the people are like, oh, shoot. Oh, wow. Remember? 
No, I think that's what they're going to make uh, more... They are going to make more Smash Brothers. They can yeah, have, they are, but not going to be under the same guy. I think they probably have a laboratory going to be like, no. Wait, aren't there... Aren't I don't there, know. Aren't they going to be maybe Project Sora? Or, or Project Sora or whatever. Yeah, I, I, I think the guy in Hell Laboratory... The guy in Hell Laboratory is on Project Sora. Whatever, I don't pay attention to details. So it's technically the same guy, but, the, but a different company. Okie dokie. Yeah. Okay, so... But yeah, but either way, and it could be like any other game, like, I don't know, whatever this other PBR will be. That might be semi-interesting to see downloadable content. Well, anyway, um, number one, better customization for the Miis. Because, cause, um... Def. What? Def. Def? That's like a, a short, um, you know, a short word for definitely. Def. Okay, fine. Not deaf as in, you can't hear me, but whatever. <laughs> but, yeah. Anyway, better customization for the Miis, because all you see on the Miis on the Miis channel and Wii and 3DS, I don't, don't have a 3DS, so I wouldn't know, that there aren't any, I was just this bland. Bland, bland, bland. Bland faces, bland face parts, bland hair, bland hair color, and just bland body parts. Especially bland body parts, you can't even customize that. Except, except how high and how fat you are. And seriously, who wanted to put a big fat guy? I mean, I know I would, because I'm a big fat guy, but... Still. I want, I want to see, like, stuff that you would normally see, like, a blue-haired girl or something. I was like, 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 I don't know. And may, maybe, it would be better if some games have, like, um... Their own me, like, me customization content. Like, let's say you have a Smash Bros. thing. And you can have, um, me, me, your, your me dress up as, like, um... Let's say, um, Mars or something. Better clothes. Actual, actual clothes? Actual clothing. Yeah. Because yeah, remember Kingdom Hearts Mobile? Oh. Yeah. 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 That, that, that's kind of the, that, kind of the idea I'm, ha I'm having with, with this. To have, like... Because, cause, you know, because you know, everyone... Cause, uh, Japan! I mean, in Japan, like, you, you can do whatever the heck in Japan. They part, they You can bow that everyone in Japan has every game ever. So they're going to have, like, oh, you can have a 3DS, right? Put your Miis on, on um, Kingdom Hearts Mobile or whatever the heck they call it. Kingdom Hearts 3D. Kingdom uh, Hearts 3D! Yeah, and they're gonna have um, their own version of mobile. They could switch your avatars or something, whatever. But in the, in the US of A, anywhere else, yeah, no one's gonna do that. Who, I mean, who's gonna do that? Who's gonna put that on Street Pass mode anyway? In America. Uh, don't ask me. Exactly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, yeah. Better than this for, for me on the on the home console. So yeah. I think that's all. Eight minutes. So I'll see you guys in the next uh, talks episode later.